my beautiful people, <laughs> it has happened, happening right now. This very one now, hmm, this is what they call bonche. This one will shock you again. Anyway, it's no longer news because it has been happening. This is not the first time the bandits have slapped Mr. President on his face. But instead of Mr. President to do the needful, what did they do? Then they negotiate with them, give them money. Happening now, 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 now. Bandits hmm? went to President Stan, K3, kidnapped 46 others. Where is the, uh, what is his name again? Ahmed Gumi, the mediator between the bandits and the federal government. He should come now because job done there now for him to do. Nigerians are saying that these people, they are criminals. When I say no, they not be criminals. So what can you call people like this? They keep people. They kidnap for ransom. What are they really fighting for? Now nah, I don't know. But the Nigerian government, they look them. They are having their way like that. They go. This is really very, very unfair. This is the second time these people don't they do this thing. It's a very big shame that a, 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 in, in, in our president's hometown, bandits, they go. They kidnap people. It's a very big slap. This is not the first time. You get it. We know what happened last year when Mr. President visited his own town for after about one year. They never let him land <laughs> his house. What they did, pew, boom. What happened? They went to one science secondary school in Kankara. You know, Kankara Secondary School. They kidnapped about 300 students from the school. That is what they used to welcome Mr. President. But instead of Mr. President to do the needful, they begin to do negotiation. You don't see person when they eat with devil. Your mouth go burn. If you try eat with devil, you will have a burnt mouth. And that is what is happening now. Gumi is saying that these people, they are not terrorists. But uh, ESN, what is it called again? IPOP, they are terrorists. The, the Minister of uh, Information said that you cannot say that bandits are terrorists because they don't have a group. They don't have a group they used to identify them. That is why they could not uh, prescribe them. Now, he still, still use the math token this week that um, they cannot bomb the hideout of this uh, bandit because of uh, ecosystem. Now, Nigerians come they ask questions, say, you are talking about ecosystem, you are talking about climate or whatever, but you send your hair strike to Olu in Imo State with the help of their governors to burn Olu bushes. So there is nothing like ecosystem there. Nigerian government wake up. See, what is happening there? These people, they know what is happening. Even Gumi Makbasi talk and say, the federal government know the hideout of, or hideout of these bandits and all that. So what are we talking about? The day the Northern Allies in this country will say enough of this banditry, that day it will end. But as they continue to romance with them, because as you can see in the north now, banditry has become uh, a very good business to enter. Kidnapping is now a very profitable business in the north. Once they broke, they will kidnap. Somebody will negotiate, somebody will pay like that. It's really very irritating. You know a bandit by his name, you, you have his phone number, you kidnap, you call for rescue, somebody come negotiate the rescue, you set the person free, then you go freely. The next time again, you kidnap. Then another thing when they go talk, we say, they have different groups. Nigerian government wake up. See, everything about this government, in fact, let me not just say this thing that is trying to come out from my mouth. Is we, now see the poor Nigerians, now they die for this matter. 
that is why it's really very, very painful. It's really very, very painful. Because Nigerians are dying for what they know not. You, how can you be using the lives of your fellow human being for politics because of money? Because of money. Because they use because of money. They use they keep people. People will not know it in a bit. Hello, guys. I beg the matter too much. Let's get straight to the news and get the full details. But before then, please, if you are here for the first time, kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you very much. God bless you. Now, the news race in detail. Suspected bandits have reportedly killed three persons and kidnapped 46 others in Castina State. Castina is President Muhammad Buhari's hometown state. Unaheram. It was gathered that the incident occurred on Monday night when the government invaded communities across the Sabuwe local government area of the state. They, they broke into several shops and homes and cattered away with money, valuable items, including dozens of livestock animals, the BBC also reported. It was also gathered that the gun wedding man operated for several hours with impunity during the dead, uh, deadly attack. The question is where our, uh, uh, what are they called? Our police, our army, where then they? But they will get strength when they see unharmed protesters. They will go to shoot. Where then they now when all these things they happen? However, the report noted that most of the adopted victims we are women and children in Castina, Gobe. I, the police uh, command spokesman, confirmed the abdu uh, abduction to People's Gazette Wednesday morning. He, he said the number of kidnapped persons reported by BBC adding that the victims were uh, not up to 46. Actually, bandits attacked some communities on Monday. They killed three and injured six persons with gunshots on kidnapping issues some women were actually kidnapped but they are not up to 46 the police officer said you don't see them they are they are not up to 46 give us the exact number i beg my people let me just drop this one and go to another news please don't forget to give us a thumbs up subscribe to this channel if you have not thank you very much god bless you bye for now